The Nick from Gumpa Network. What is he really up to? Is Boomzy really my long lost son? And will Steve ever find true love? I'm your host, Pigeon Swanson, and this is Out of the Nest. Hey guys, welcome, and this is the first of many series, basically just going to cover the news, the authentic, 100% real news. So the first bit of news is actually going to be on the Perfect Grade RX-78-2 Gundam little teaser that actually got released. Now, I, for one, am super excited, but a lot of people have been saying it's a 2.0, and I beg to differ. I am led to believe by not only my little birds in the sky, but the Kawaguchi himself texted me late last night and told me it's not a 2.0. It's a completely different perfect grade altogether. So take with that as you wish, but all my birds in the sky and my absolute resources from Tokyo headquarters begs to differ. On to the next news. Ah! That is so fucking embarrassing. Next we're gonna have is going to be the confirmed, at this point, Master Grade Barbados. Now there's some speculation out there that uh, it's a Verka. I'm not, I'm not buying it. It's a, uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a normal release Master Grade. They usually don't slap on that Verka right at the end uh, after they announced it. So I'm pretty sure it's just gonna be a normal Master Grade. Everything's tentative. We don't really know the exact date for when it's coming out. Uh, I'm kind of speculating around the November time frame because uh, we are going to begin some other beefy kits come October. But you know what? It looks good. I think the details are fantastic. The mace, I would say, looks a little bit odd. I don't really like that handle and I think the proportions are kind of eh. But you know what? It's a really cool looking suit. I love Barbados and hey. Uh, it's just going to be another one to add to the collection. Now, the next piece of information is going to be the High Res God Gundam, which is coming out in October. To me, this came out in left field. I did not think I would ever see a high resolution of a God Gundam. Uh, probably, arguably, the only real mobile suit from G Fighter that I actually think is pretty good. Uh, everything else is kind of meh. But hey, they chose the right one. Even if they would have went with the Shining, I would have been happy with that. But you know what? Not trying to give personal opinions here, just facts. But it looks good, it's coming out in October, probably gonna be around the 14,000 yen price tag. That's what I'm kind of uh, speculating. I, I can't remember the sources or uh, what they actually confirmed what the price tag was, but uh, I'll be sure to go ahead and add that on to the video right here. Next we're gonna have is the P Bandai Second Victory. Wow, this is uh, really odd. Why? I don't know why they would release this so late after they've already released the actual high grade uh, victory. So, I don't know. I don't really have any kind of uh, hard opinions on this. It's P Bandai. It looks like some parts are going to be more separate instead of using stickers. I think mostly in the red. But you know what? I might pick it up if, uh, you know, it, if, I, if nothing else is coming out that month that I'm really excited for, then uh, I might just snag it up. But hey, who knows, we'll go ahead and see when that time comes. Now the next is gonna be the High Grade Penelope Gundam. This is going to be a massive looking kit. Uh, overall, I think it looks amazing. The uh, price tag, however, is not so amazing. Uh, 7,500 yen, that's quite steep. But you know what? I think it's still going to be a really good kit overall to get. Uh, so definitely gonna pick it up, build it, review it, and you know, I, I just I want people to be informed before they actually press that pre-order. But if you already made up your mind, then definitely go for that pre-order. Uh, otherwise, maybe wait for a review to come out and um, see exactly the innards and all the uh, mechanics and gimmicks and stuff. Now we do have news of a new Build Diver series called Re-Rise. Uh, it's kind of just like in a little teaser for the 40th anniversary uh, kind of like series. I don't really have any thoughts. I well, you know, I do have some thoughts. I don't think it's going to be that great. Uh, we've seen what Build Divers was, and honestly, that was uh, less than amazing. Very much less than amazing. So hopefully this is going to, you know, kind of fix all those things that they had uh, wrong with the Build Divers series. Namely, just the characters were too plain. The main protagonist was 
I don't know, what was his point? Uh, he didn't really have much of goals, in my, in my opinion. He was just kind of like wanted to get into the game and build some models, but uh, otherwise, everyone just really didn't seem that invested into the actual world. Uh, they didn't really, I don't know, they just didn't explore enough. I want, I want to know more about this actual um, game and just kind of like see more characters and just characters that actually are kind of cool. And namely, just better mobile suits altogether. Uh, but yeah, it's a new series coming out. Hopefully it's going to be good. Uh, I'll, I'll watch it and I'll definitely give you all my opinions on it. So that's pretty much it for this first news broadcast. I am uh, going to be sure to do many of them. I didn't want to put every single thing, all the, the eggs in one nest. So I'm just going to give you a little snippet of some stuff that's going on right now. Uh, and then in the next video, I will cover all everything I did miss in this video. And then also just cover everything else that's going to be releasing uh, news-wise in the upcoming week. But uh, other than that, guys, definitely appreciate all of you for watching. Uh, just make sure that you uh, look to the skies, see the crows, and you be sure to know that news is on its way. But that's it for me, guys. I'll be seeing y'all in the next news broadcast. Bye-bye.